Hello again. It's me doing another video. EchoCraft. Um, so anyway, I picked up these little guys called, um, well, they're Roland Aria or Ara. I guess that's how you say it. I'm really bad at these names. Um, but yeah, so grabbed one of these. Um, this is called the Roland J6. That's what this is. It is a cord synthesizer by Roland. Uh, they cost about $199. I got them on Sweetwater, and it, they seem really cool. I'm going to check them out. We're going to do an unboxing and, uh, yeah, see how it goes. All right, so here it is. We're going to unbox this right now. So I'm just going to open it up. And I opened it previously. Uh, I messed up on the video, so I'm just going to do an unboxing again. came in this bag. Here it is here. And again, we have the, this is a, a QR code that if you scan it, uh, basically what happens is you get onto uh, the Roland site to register it and download the manual. And here we have a small manual, um, getting started guide on that side. And then here we have the USB-C to USB-A cable that comes with it as well. Let's put the box aside for a sec. So what's really cool about this is uh, this is a J6 Roland uh, cord synthesizer, like I said earlier, and it comes in this cool blue and black color. And I'm just going to go over some of the fine points of it um, and the in inputs and outputs. Uh, basically, right here, uh, we have MIDI in and MIDI out. Now, the MIDI in and the MIDI out are for, uh, well, it's for MIDI, obviously, duh. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, these are uh, eighth inch to MIDI. So if you have an eighth inch to MIDI adapter, I have a couple of them. They're pretty inexpensive. You can get them on uh, Sweetwater or even Amazon. Um, this right here is a USB-C connector to charge it because these have a lithium ion battery or ion lithium battery, however you say it. I'm not good with names. Again, this is, again, I'll say it again. This is the Roland IRA. I guess that's how you pronounce it, IRA series. Um, and it's part of the IRA series, like, you know, the... Um, the TR8, the TR8S, and, and, and the TB3, and all, so on, so on. So this little guy right here is really cool. It's an on-off switch. Um, and then right here, if you can see it, we have the in-sync and in-sync out. Those are pulses. So those would give like a, a I think it's a 5-volt or 5-watt pulse. I forget what it is. Pardon me. Um, basically, you could hook this up to any modular system, uh, if you're into that stuff, um, or any other device that takes uh, pulses, so which is kind of cool. However, it will not um, do start-stop. Only the MIDI will do start-stop. Um, and you can daisy-chain these with MIDI and using a, uh, uh, an eighth-inch to eighth-inch stereo cable, you can daisy-chain all three of them, because uh, there are three of them, um, and this is just the J6. Um, this right here, obviously, is your mix in. So what's cool about that, you're going to take, say, from the, the one of the other units, you can actually take it and put it in here. And then out, those two units will actually be outputted into whatever mixer or headphones that you want to uh, uh, put on. This is your volume button. We have a chord sequencer here, which is really cool because you can sequence any chord that you want. Um, this is the variation button of the chord, chord pattern, style of the chord. So there's jazz, pop, stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, and then we have, uh, right here, we have genre. So that'll actually help with the variation in style. Um, and then we have a hold button. So you can actually use the hold button to play each chord. You can actually play this, too, because if you notice, there's a keyboard here. Um, and also, uh, we can turn off the variation and turn on the variation which is kind of nice. Um, and then we have reverb, we have delay, we have an envelope filter, and we have um, an, a filter, cutoff filter, which would be cut off in residence, which is actually nice. Over here, we have tempo and value. Value is obviously going to be your sound, because then we'd have down here, we have the pattern, which is a pattern that you're going to use, and we can control all of that. Uh, we have sound. Now, sound is really cool because 
This comes with a pretty decent variety of patches, different patches, sounds that you can use. Then we have the shift button, and the shift button is going to be used for these different menus down here underneath the keys, um, which is nice. So we have shuffle, um, we have last, which would be the last uh, uh, sequence in the chain, uh, clear all, we need to clear everything. Uh, we have the key that we can play it in. Um, and also this would bring you into a menu that lets you change variety of things, including the reverb and delay. Um, and then we have our right button, which we can actually um, save to, and that's all done with the shift key, okay? Um, right here, we obviously have play and we have record. Again, up, up in this area right here, this is your charging. You're gonna see a little light there. Um, and I believe this has juice in it, hold on, let me see. Yep, so we got the J6 going now, uh, and I don't have it hooked up to anything yet, but basically, um, you know, I'll go through some of the buttons again. There's your hold button, your on variation button, the chord button. By the way, if you don't have the chord button on, it won't play chords, obviously, so you can actually play individual notes as well, which is nice. Um, and then we have the pattern button, and there's many different patterns you can use. As you can see, it shifts through uh, the sequencer. And then here we have the sound. Again, we can shift through all these sounds. So, so just like in typical uh, Roland fashion, uh, what's nice about this is, if you can see, we have banks. So bank two, one, three, all the way up to bank eight, then into three, we have one, all the way. So there's banks of, I, I believe five, let's see. No, there's more, jeez, <laughs> pardon me. Um, <laughs> I, apparently there's more. I haven't really gone through the manual yet, but I will. Um, so basically, uh, oh, this is the uh, shift button. And as you can see, there's different things that light up for the shift, I, like I said. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook this guy up uh, and try to get some sound out of it, which I think it's probably going to be no problem. Again, this is the Roland J6 uh, of the uh, Ira uh, collection. Um, I think this is really cool. I can't wait to dive into this thing. Oh, and this, uh, the, the USB-C to uh, USB-A cable. I kind of wish it came with the USB-C to USB-C for those of us that have USB-C on our computers and other things, uh, but this is fine. And you know, you can always get a converter, like a, an adapter for it. Let me just put this down for a sec. What's cool about this is the USB-C right on the, the back here, you can plug it directly into um, your computer and charge it, you can plug it in directly into a charger. This will charge the battery. You can also plug it into your computer and it'll actually take, uh, do, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, stereo sound, uh, and also use it to play back MIDI if you wanted to. So if there's a multiple things that USB-C is able to do, which is kind of nice. So yeah, so let me, um, let me uh, get this hooked up and we can hear what it sounds like.
All right, so as you can see, this thing's really cool. It sounds amazing. The effects on it are cool. I know I just kept with the same pattern over and over again. I like the pattern. I thought it was cool. I just wanted to show off what this thing is capable of doing. I'm actually going to do a review on another unit, um, and we'll link them all together, do another video on that, and show you guys what it's like. So uh, stay creative. Stay tuned for the next videos. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, ring the bell, um, and stay creative. All right? Peace.